electronic configuration of a molecule. Distribution of electrons among various molecular orbitals is called electronic configuration of the molecule. Okay. Distribution of electrons among various molecular orbitals. among various molecular orbitals is called as electronic configuration of the molecule. This helps us to find the important information about the molecule. Okay. From electronic configuration we can find the number of electrons present in bonding molecular orbital. In bonding molecular orbital which can be represented as N. Nb, okay. Also, number of electrons in bonding anti-bonding molecular orbital. Anti-bonding molecular orbital. Na, okay. Na. So, from Nb and Na, we can find the stability of the molecule. Okay. First case. Molecule is stable if Nb is greater than Nd. Okay. Then molecule is unstable if Nb is less than Nd. Okay. Also molecule is unstable. If Nb equal Na, okay, Nb equal Na, okay. If Nb equal Na also, the atoms will not combine to form molecule because the effect of uh, anti-bonding electron is slightly greater than the bonding uh, electrons, bonding uh, the electrons present in and the effect of electrons present in bonding molecular orbitals. Okay, that is why in the case of Nb is equal to Na also the molecule is stable, unstable. Okay. Next bond order. The stability can also be uh, obtained, also be determined using this bond order. Okay, bond order. So, what is bond order? Bond order is defined as, it is defined as half the difference between the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Half the difference between number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Anti-bonding molecular orbital. Okay. So, bond order is equal to half into Nb minus Na, where Nb represents the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital and Na represents the number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Next, significance of bond order. Bond order also helps us to find the stability of the molecule. So, first significance, if the bond order is positive okay if the value of bond order is positive the molecule is stable okay then if the value is negative or zero value of bond order is negative or zero 
the molecule is unstable okay so bond order helps us to find the stability of the molecule next second point greater the bond order shorter the bond length and stronger the bond greater the bond order shorter the bond length shorter the bond length and stronger the bond okay then third point greater the bond order greater the dissociation energy okay greater the bond order greater the dissociation energy okay now next point bond order also helps us to find the uh, num uh, number of covalent bonds in a molecule okay so bond order of a molecule is equal to the bond order of a molecule is equal to the number of covalent bonds between the atoms in the molecule okay between the atoms in the molecule so bond order bond order 1 2 3 represents single covalent bond then double covalent bond triple covalent bond etc okay So these are the significance of bond order. Okay. Second parameter is bond length. Bond length is inversely proportional to bond order. Bond length is inversely proportional to bond order. Okay. As greater the bond order, bond length will be less. Okay. Example, in the case of N2, bond order is 3. And O2, bond order is 2. That means bond length of uh, O2 is greater than N2. Okay. Next, third parameter is magnetic properties. Magnetic properties. Magnetic property depends upon the number of electrons present present in the molecule. If all the electrons in the molecule are paired, okay, then the substance is diamagnetic. Okay, that is repelled by magnetic field. Okay, if all the electrons are paired, then the substance is diamagnetic or they are repelled by the magnetic field. If the substance contains one or more electron, uh, unpaired electrons, okay, contains one or more unpaired electrons, then it is unpaired electrons, then it is paramagnetic. So, magnetic properties can be determined using this. Okay. So, it is paramagnetic means it is attracted by the magnetic field. Okay. Example, in the case of O2 molecule. O2 molecule is paramagnetic. Okay. Then, by using the number of unpaired, unpaired electrons, we can also determine the spin magnetic moment. Mu S means spin magnetic moment. This is equal to root of N into N plus 2 Bohr magneton Bm. Okay. Where Mu S represents the spin magnetic moment. And N is the number of unpaired electrons. 
Okay. Okay. So using the number of if na if we uh, find the number of unpaired electrons present in the molecule, we can find the spin magnetic moment using this formula. Okay.